excuse me, we'll have a less of that language, young man. Peel the skin off, made leather out of it at the tannery. Bread. You alright? That's really weird. Oh, Was there a lady screaming on the phone? Trapped in here. No food. Is your energy attached to this room? That was Colin. What the f you can book the jail, you can't book the ghost. Today, I'm off to Derby Jail. So yes guys, welcome to another video. As I've said, Derby Jail is the location for tonight's investigation. Never been there before. So this is an event hosted by Portal to the Paranormal, Sarah and Nando. So first time I've worked with these guys, been on their podcast before, so should be a good night. So Derby Jail is one of the locations I've always wanted to go to ever since I first saw it on Most Haunted. What's going to happen tonight? Who knows? Is it going to be a good night? Hopefully. So, yeah. Make sure you like this video, guys, and subscribe to my channel, and let's get on with the video. Um, this is Derby Jail. Built in 1750, opened in 1756, built in 1753, three years. Wait, I'm not very good at waiting. Right, uh, this part is all we've got. Behind that wall is all this again. And behind the wall at the end is all this again. And it's four stories high. And it was all cells. Wait! Sack the juggler. <laughs> right, this is the murder room, and basically it tells you what happened with crime and punishment here in uh, uh, Derby. Yeah? Everything inside the cabinets is a genuine artifact, everything above it or around it is a representation of. Yeah? So, the observant will have noticed this young lady probably about 14. All the penny dreadfuls there, telling you about some of the people that were here, what happened to them, what they did, uh, how cruel they were. It's amazing, and it's all in Old English. You know, there's no Fs and no, uh, sorry, there's no Ss and no Js and things like that. It takes a bit of reading, once you do, you think, well, why do we change from that? You'll like it, yeah? Some of the people in here that were treat, were done were real nasties. Some of them really shouldn't have been in shell and stuff, but that's the way it goes. Dissection table, obviously, murderers were dissected. Oh my. Yeah? Well, they weren't dissected here, they were take, if they were sentenced to be dissected, they were hanged here and taken to the Shire Hall. And they were dissected publicly in front of a big crowd. But basically that's what they did, they just literally cut them apart, pulled all the bits out, fed them to the dog, Peel the skin off, made leather out of it at the tannery. Made a wrap books in it, and there's a nice big piece. You could have made a pair of slippers for the mayor, you know. It's a bit gruesome, isn't it? <laughs> the table, or like the table. Yeah, they did, did it, but they, they, they didn't dissect everybody. Yeah. After, if the, for murderers, they could have actually put you in a gibber cage. So they hang you till you're dead, and then they'd hang that and put you in a gibber cage and hang it 30 feet up above the air in the air, above the point where you committed the murder. It's worse than what they've been done to everyone. For the birds to um, peck at your eyes and everything else. Last, year, last time we happened here, it was 11 years ago I was up there. The time they took it down, all that was left was a bit of rag. Yeah. 11 years he was up there, and that was in the centre of Derby. So everybody coming into Derby so, yeah. could see this thing for 11 years. 
things like there's things of interest, a death mask on the wall there. Three men from uh, he each murdered a lady. They were hanged at the other jail, uh, and that's their death masks. All right, the condemned cell. This condemned cell was only used after someone had been sentenced to be executed. Yeah, otherwise it wasn't used. We didn't put prisoners in here unless they've been convicted and sentenced. Then you're in here for exactly three days and three nights. Because coincidentally, that's exactly how long it took me to build a gallows right behind that wall. This, in my opinion, is the most active cell we have. When it goes off in here, it's big time. It's really heavy in here. Um, basically, because this is a debtor's cell. You'll notice this is a luxury cell, it's got a window. <laughs> but uh, what you do is, if you, was, if, if you owed some people money, the judge would say, right, you've got to jail until you paid it off. Uh, well, that's okay if you were a, a tailor or a seamstress or something like that, you had a skill that you could bring products through the window, do your work, take them out of the window, someone would sell them, buy you out. That worked for some. So you got the back in, yeah. Yeah? But it didn't work for many. As they say, hanging was not the big killer here. The biggest killer here was jail fever. Maybe as many as 1,500 people died in here of jail fever. Jail fever, in common terms, is typhus typhoid, which is spread by fleas and mice. So you've got eight people in here. If you put another person in that's got the fleas and lice and typhus, yeah, and they're locked up in here for 23 hours, by next morning they've all got it, and three months later they're all dead. Yeah? And then all the prisoners, we have to drag them out, bury them in the garden, dig a hole, fill it with quicklime, shove the body in, cover it up, and three months later there's nothing left, you can dig the hole in. Cool. Here you are, I'm Candy Camera. You are, yeah. Oh, all right. Smile. <laughs> This was a punishment cell, yeah? Literally, in here, they would use light and sound deprivation. They would chain you in here. And you were either chained by the ankle, in which case you could walk around the room, or you were hand chained to the wall, in which case you were... So is this like segregation in normal isolation? Yeah, 30, yeah. as you say, 30 days bread and water and all that sort of thing. It would have been nasty, because literally, if you're t tied to a wall for 30 days, so if you actually went to defecate or anywhere whatsoever, you sat in it. <laughs> you know, it, it was that nasty. Yeah? And with no lights and no sound out here, you wouldn't know if it's day or night or anything. We've had people in here last an hour. We've had people last in here seconds. Well, I just pushed as I came through the door. Were you? Mm. Uh, as I said, when it kicks off in here, in this place, it does it big time, yeah? Sometimes you get nothing, sometimes you can't believe what you get. So we're off on a little trip across the road in the city centre of Derby. 20. Try not to get run over. The first two doors there, on that plinth, that's where the gallows was. So you come up them steps, Onto the gallows, hang. In front of 6,000 people in the street. Literally, the gallows will be there. It's 12 feet high, comes out 14 feet. Steps going either side. So interesting stuff. So much local history that people don't really know about. So, yeah, apparently, we're off to another jail, which is up the road. In 1825, they opened this prison with this castle frontage. 1827, they built all those houses by the same architect. Because they would have never got away with it otherwise. And the reason this, this street is so wide is to accommodate the crowd. Yeah. Because that window that you saw observing, you noticed, is not a window, it is a door. That is the drop room. And you were standing on the gallows. This is the dead room. 
above you is the drop room. And basically, they were taken up there, out the door and hanged. After they've been hanged, they've brought them round back into here. And there would have been a gurney where you're sitting now. And they would have uh, repaired the body for face masks, photographs and things. Firstly, when they hanged you, they put a white hood over your head. Any idea why they would do that? So you can't see their face out when jungle. Very close, yeah. Uh, basically, it wasn't done for the uh, person that's going to be hanged's benefit. It was done for the crowd's benefit. Because when you hang someone, you cut off all circulation to the neck, from the neck up. Yeah? Well, the blood's still moving at 102 miles an hour. So it's going to come out your ears, out your nose, out your eyes, out your mouth, out, yeah. your, out the pores of your skin. Your skin's going to turn purple. Your tongue will swell and you will bite your tongue and serrate it. Your eyes can pop out of your head. Oh, I thought that was a gate for this. So I. <laughs> it's a spiral stone staircase with a rope. Do hang on to the rope. Yeah. The light will be on now. Once the last person's up there, we we'll turn the light off and call out. And see if we get anything up there. Right. Let's do this. <laughs> wow, it just keeps going. I'm going. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> Anyone else coming up? Is that it? Yeah, there's a couple. Yeah. Like an old castle, isn't it? Mm. Really? Literally. It's not straight, it's not level in this floor at all. Is that why I feel like I'm tipping? Could be, because mm. it's not level. <coughs> Literally, coming from there to here, it was like this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm glad I'm left in here. I can feel it. It feels all like. Like you're at sea, it's that kind of feeling of like not being like a swaying. Yeah, you yeah. Can't put your yeah, yeah. It could be because it's frozen even though. It feels more than that though. It doesn't feel that kind of feeling like. Yeah, all no, it feels like your head's all bloody. With mashed. me, I literally, you know, you know when you sort of bimbly norm and your sort of legs cross over and everything like that when you're out of your beer. So earlier on, spirit, we thought we you may have heard you make a tapping sound. If it was you, can you copy this noise? Oh my oh God! Jesus God. So that there is a bear. Oh no, it's, it's a vampire bear. bear. Oh that shouldn't have gone off then. Well, you not. give up with that bloody it's bear. It's pointing towards the wall. I love my bear. It's got such an evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> like me? Yes, yeah, just like you, Joe. If you expect to call for any spirits present in this building or the land around this building, you can hear my voice and you wish to communicate with us. Please come forward. You can talk to myself, or you can talk to anyone around the table, or even around the room. We mean you no harm, we mean you no disrespect. We come full of love. We're not here to judge you, and we mean you no harm, and we mean you no disrespect. You can come close to us, come and show yourself as a light or a shadow. We're very, very curious to see who you are why you're here, what's keeping you here. 
and if we can actually help you and do anything for you. To Amber, there. Someone's done the change of battery. Oh, there are new ones in there. Can I switch over? Um, Last okay. time, yeah, switch bring, bring them both together. Put them both, both side by side. <coughs> okay, Spirit, thank you for doing that with the, the little lights. However, we're not sure if it's working properly or not, so. We put two together now, if you can come close to them, do exactly the same to both of them. Whoa, Thank you. wow. Oh, that's cool. Thank you so much. Okay, if we ask a few questions and the answer is yes, if you can do exactly what you just did then and make that light flash, we'll take that as a yes. If you leave them blank, we'll take it as a no. Lauren, if you demonstrate the other one with a little tap as well, show them that. Yeah, that's easy. Okay, if you tap the table as well, and the lights come on. Do you think there are a lot of men in this prison? Would you like to speak to one of the ladies? Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. So should we go around the table and ask the spirit if they'd like to speak to us and say our names? Okay, spirit, my name is Davina. <laughs> 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 okay. It is yeah, as I was saying, the weekend, so I'm Davina. I'm sure your battery's are knackered. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I don't oh Davina. Yeah. They're both going, they're both yeah. going around the table. They would have just turned the phones to flight mode. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Male spirits in this jail, would you like to talk to me? Let those lights go. There were females in there as well. Okay. My name's Sarah. Come and say hello. I've just heard someone go, hi. I heard that. Fuck here. me, that was brilliant. I heard Sorry. that from here. Yeah. I actually heard that. I heard, I heard something, but I, won't, I it's thought female. it was somebody very outside. Very safe outside. Do you think you can make both those lights go up to red? Mm -hmm. Come on. You can do it. Come, Come on. A bit harder. You can do it. Go to well, red. Use the energy in the room to make that go red. Right. Hi, I'm Claire. I'm Lisa. Hey, I'm Lauren. Hi, I'm Abby. Hi, I'm Nick. Hi, well, Spirits, I'm Mickey. Oh, I would like oh, you. Aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> it's got to be a beard thing. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Spirits, my name's Nikki. Hi, Nikki. And you. I was saying hello. Hi. <laughs> oh. Ooh. You all right? Yeah, just across your bar. Somebody That's walked over my grave. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I got very cold. I don't know. I, I, all I'm getting is, is like on the back of my neck all the time. Just here. It was like straight across the back of my shoulders. Like yeah. Somebody put in. It feels like I've got a breeze down in the back of my back. You know, like the arm yeah. going round your shoulders. <laughs> it's very, very cold. The, the spirit we're talking with him there. Oh, it's cold. Mm. I've been accused of something that she hasn't done. Well, I'm freezing. We know it's cold. It's, it's coming round. Round this way, so you can feel it at night. I'm absolutely mm. freezing. It's just round, round my shoulders at the moment. Yeah. I'm going, starting to go down my back. It could be that it's because I'm sat next to a wall. Yeah, but to be fair, it's not. It's not that cold. No, it's not. It's back of him. Oh, I'm <laughs> freezing I'm cold. Right now. Is it you that's making down here go cold? Is someone sat over here by me? Come on. I can't see. Katie's going off. <laughs> Both of them. Yeah. It went off when you said you were around you. Yeah. 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 yeah that's there you go. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Come on. Brilliant. Thank you. Fantastic. Is it someone I know? Yes. I'm that person. I see if there's any temperature fluctuations. I can feel it on my legs now. Mm -hmm. I feel it coming out under the table. Yeah. What, the cold? Yeah. yeah. I've just got a sudden rush by my knees. Yeah. I just can't feel much feet. my legs. Mm. As I said, mine's, mine's still on my shoulders. You know. What's your feet? No. The coldness <laughs> on my shoulders and <laughs> going down my back. <laughs> So if it's not loud enough, so you're going down in temperature. Come on. 14.2. Yeah. 
Oh, that is cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel it. Yeah. Sorry. 28. Spirit, do you want to talk to us through this device? Help. 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 Help, yeah. yeah. We'll help you if you talk to us. Tell us your name, my darling. Tapping on this table. Oh, so you're not, mm. not moving, are you? No. Yeah. Is your mummy in this jail as well? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, Jesus. It's like back to the 15th century, doesn't it? You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Right, so this room behind me is an isolation room. I'm going to be spending some time in here alone. People don't feel well in here. They don't feel happy. So I've got a couch. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. Right. So before I start, we've got, we've got my voice recorder here recording. We have. A ramp pod here with the temperature. And we have a flux tube on the floor and it will light up different colours depending on which side any movement is picked up. Right, so I'm just going to try a few EVP sessions with the DR60. Okay, spirits, if there's anybody in here with me, I'm in the isolation room. I'm all alone. Did you spend time in this prison? After you hear the phone buzz, static. Were you kept in a cell? How many people were in the cell with you? Static, it's weird. Shouldn't be getting static from a phone. Were you kept in a cell? How many people were in a cell with you? At the moment, there's only one person in here, me. How many of you were in a cell? The other cell? Can you tell me? Can you give me a number? So you can hear the other guys in the other rooms, the other cells. The other parts of the building. It's still just me here. If you can come and affect me in some way. Obviously only temporary though. I would like to get home in one piece. I'm going to take some photos on my phone. If you can show yourself on the photo, that would be brilliant. I'd like to capture what you look like. Could you do that for me? I'm going to turn on the Spirit Talker app. The temperature is now going to 16.2. I believe it was on 15 point something when we first entered the room. But obviously it's my body heat, we've got cameras, we've got equipment. Probably 
be giving off energy and heat. What was that lady screaming out there? Is everything all right out there? Hey, it's screaming. Yeah. Yeah? Oh. I don't know. I was in that room. Oh dear. What time was it? Coffee. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Hey. 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 Yeah. Pictures yeah. in one of the cells. Yeah. Oh, my own trainer. Oh, Jane. What happened in there? I don't really know. I can oh, just right. hear this noise. And then yeah, well, I heard that. I thought it was that. Out and, yeah, I don't know. Oh. This is waiting, waiting for a while, isn't it? Yeah. About two or three minutes. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure I'll find out later. <laughs> oh, you weren't in with you then? Huh? Wasn't in with you? No, oh, no. But... I just heard it and went running in. I'm sure everything was okay. Oh, yeah, we were. We had the fry. But no, that's right. She alright? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. she just really shook me up anyway. But what we're going to do is get uh, everyone else, all the other guests, get back into doing what they were doing. Dave's going to make sure she's alright and see if she wants to continue. And just go from there, yeah? Yeah. Alright, that's great. Cool. So, basically, someone was affected in one of the rooms, one of the cells. So they just took her out, turned the lights. So make sure she's okay. Obviously, everyone's gonna go back to normal in a minute. It's a bit noisy. Are you too scared? I'm not scared at all. No, not scared. You have to do something to make me scared. Hello? Just to let you know, the other jail cell's free if you want to go in there. Oh, yeah. We just had a lady out there. An episode in there, she's good to take out. Yeah, I heard. There's some funny smells in there. Is there? So the smoke, there's been bread, there's been a fart smell. <laughs> Very strange. Yeah. This is the dentist, which is back oh, yeah. down when we were facing the wall. Shit, go down. Oh. Wait, uh oh. Right. Okay. Um, it's like something was stopping from going in. You know when you try and approach and it kind of. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Something's changed in here, possibly. Close the door. What do you want me to do? Just follow your face to the wall and close your eyes. Is the door closed? Yeah. Well, you got your eyes closed, Mickey, and just feel everything and, mm -hmm. and call out to the spirit and ask it to touch you. Or... Come on, spirits, I'm here in your cell. It's just what you did. Are you trapped in here? Dave was picking up on some crazy stuff as well, wasn't you, Dave? Why? My left hand's just gone kind of numb. This is very strange. Why were you in here? What did you do? Were you innocent?
Do you steal something to feed your family? If there's anybody in here who can see me, come and affect me, please. Let me feel how you felt when you were in here. Picking up anything, Dave? Just a little girl. Was there children in here as well? Oh, it's the 15th century, so they would have had everyone in there. Yeah. You'd be hung for being a pickpocket. Yeah. You'd be hung for stealing horses. There'd be like 15 of them and rammed in here. Yeah. All stinking and dying. There were four men that were actually hung for setting fire to bales of hay. How are you feeling, Mickey? I've got a sore neck, but it could be because I've been sitting up all night. On the right side. I feel very cold, though. Can't feel the fella in here that affected Lisa. Lisa. Let's see how old you are now, the man standing in the place that Lisa was standing in. See how? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> see how big and strong you are now. Go on, see if you can take on a man. These your chains. Are you tied to the wall? And you can talk to us as well. I've got a recorder, so if you say anything, I'll be able to hear you. I feel like I need to keep holding these, or I'm going to fall over. Yeah, we're feeling exactly the same. Feeling sick, we were. Yeah, it's just like good to. Do you feel like you've got no, um, you're a bit motion, like on a boat? Yeah, I'm, I've been rocking. Yeah, since I, that's exactly yeah. what you were feeling, wasn't it, Lisa? Yeah. And we all felt really sick as well. And my legs feel numb. It's very, I don't know, it's such a strange. It's like you're opening yourself up to how they were feeling in here. No doubt they were just swimming in their own excrement, you know. This cell is the debtor's cell, isn't it? Yeah. So. I mean, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I just need to leave. <laughs> Are you affecting us all one by one? That's what we want. That's why we're here. So if you can... So if you were in here because you owed money, how much money did you owe? Come on, push Mickey against that wall. Give him a good shove. Don't wreck his teeth though, he's just had his teeth done. <laughs> They were fake, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I can't of you walking out of here, spitting them all out. <laughs> Come on, we're laughing at you. Do something. Come on, spirit, do something. Don't mind. Affect Mickey like you did me. You feeling better now? Yeah, thank you. Good. Come on. Or is it because he's a man? Yeah. And you're scared of men? You're a wussy. Little heckle. Still being respectful. You're not a big man now, are you? I do feel great. You yeah, sway it. You yeah. are wobbling. Yeah. You're all over the show. Talk to well, I feel really dizzy and hot now. Yeah. Mm. You're right. Yeah, it seems to be whatever I'm talking about. Go on. Is it, is it too cramped? Push him out of the way. Push me out of the way. I'm in your space. Mm. You alright? Yeah. I'm not going to give you your space back. I'm taking it. It's mine now. Looks like you're opening yourself up just there. Eyes oh. closed. You okay? Yeah. I'm glad I'm holding on to this. Do you feel like you're on a boat? I'm on something, yeah. Obviously, when, when it's dark and you shut your eyes, you do... Disorientate. You do sway anyway. Yeah. This is it's nice, it's weird. It, we all felt it when we were in there last time. It was like we are all feeling very <coughs> sicky and yeah. swaying all over the show. And at the end, you had your eyes open, girls, didn't you? Oh, at the yeah, end, yeah. I did as well. Uh -huh. We still felt like that. Ooh. You're right. That's such a weird sensation. 
I just feel like really shaky. You look real vulnerable and as I well. Think, I think if I let go of this, I might go over. Yeah, let's try and look at these chains. Well, hands on the wall, maybe you can feel the, what happened at the way up the wall. Make Mickey feel how you're feeling, how you felt. Let me feel your pain. What happened to you in the cell? Let it happen to me. If it's dysentery, then don't do that. Oh, I'm, just, I'm kind of right behind you. <laughs> What's that? Dysentery. But most of them got dysentery. Mm. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> starting to feel a bit sick. Yeah. Like, like you want a boat. I don't know about a boat, but it, it feels so, like something's... Um, just a feeling of sickness. Yeah. You alright? Yeah, that's really weird. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Look You're locking me in, yeah? No, you can do it, I don't mind. Bye. <laughs> okay. What? So they've locked me in the condemned man's cell. The condemned cell. The condemned man's cell. There you go. I've just spent time in the other cell. So if there's any spirits in here, any any souls that were trapped in here. I was just in the other cell, the debtor's cell, just now. I possibly could have picked up or felt some of the energy from whoever has spent time in that cell over the years. Whether they were sick, whether they were waiting to be hung, waiting to be killed for their mm -hmm. crimes. Even if their crimes weren't that bad, like stealing food, relation, your family, were they arrested, thrown in here for stealing food, an apple, some bread? Maybe you were chained to the wall by your hands. Maybe you were shackled by your feet so at least you could move around the cells. Because if you were, um, if you were, noise over there then. Hello? What's your name? My name is Mickey, hello. I would ask you to tell me your name please. You can tell me your name on the recorder. Or on this video you could shout your name or tell me on this device. Like I said, my name is Mickey, hello. You could also call me Michael if you wanted to. If there's somebody behind me, could you make that noise again? So you can see I'm moving, I'm on this 
makeshift bed, I suppose. Is it a bed? Um, and it's not been creaking at all. So, if it was that before, it would be doing it all the time, but it's not. I'm attached. What are you attached to? Attached to what? Are you attached to the building? Are you attached to a, a particular person here? One of the guests tonight, maybe? Or is it the staff that work here? Just as I'm attached. Is your energy attached to this room? The feelings, everything that's happened to you once you were put in here, probably against your will, you didn't want to be here, obviously. I do not understand. Why don't you understand? Am I asking too many questions at once? Sorry. You were taken, captured, and thrown in here. Is that right? Come on, Spirit. She said, yes. So you were, my last question, were you put in here against your will? Thrown in the cell? Yes. It says, says yes. 19. What's 19? Is that how old you were? Or how many people? How many people were in this cell at once? 19? You couldn't move. You felt sick. People were ill. They left me. But your family left you. Or did they leave you in here? Apparently they'd leave them here for like days on end. Until they were building. Or until they finished building the colours outside. So you'd be in here for three or four days. Well, depending on how long it took. Him. Are you a man? Is that right? Who am I talking to? You're a male. Hello, sir. I sort of gathered that you were male, you were attached, your spirit is attached to here. And you were just left in here with 19 people. That's what I'm going with so far. Colin. Colin, I have a name. You were left here. Hello. Hello. You all right? Yeah, you? Yeah, not too bad. You got old yet? Not much. Had some bangs in the corner. Hello, is there anybody in here? How many living people are in this room? How many dead people are in this room? I should say normally. Hmm. <laughs> well, my friend here has heard some banging in this room. Could you tell me your name, please? Very quiet, isn't it? it it's, it's gone really quiet, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, should we carry on then? Yeah, leave it to it. No. See you in a bit. <laughs> Enjoy your bangs. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Do you want to walk in or not? Yeah, why not? So, Colin, you have an attachment to this room. Is that right? Colin, is that your name? I 
hate what I did. Okay then, Colin, is that right? What did you do? What did you do, Colin? Hmm? What happened? What did you do, Colin? soon, Colin, or anyone else that's in here, um, could you use either the voice recorder behind this camera? I'm still around. He's still here. Colin, you're still in here with me. That's great. When I leave here tonight, you're staying here, okay? You're not coming with me. As much as I like talking to you, uh -uh, you're staying here. Um, you're right. Yeah? yeah. You're finished now, yeah? Yeah, it's all right. It's all right? Yeah, so, very good. Do you need any equipment in there? Did you get anything? Um, yeah, I was using uh, the Spirit Talker app, and basically I was talking about being attached in here to many people. It said uh, 19, so yeah. either age or how many people are in here. Uh, it was a him. Uh, they left me. I'm thinking they left left them in here while they were building the, the gallows. So, uh, like I said, um, then I got a name, Colin. Oh, good. So guys, there we are. Derby Jail complete. What a night. What an experience. My first time there. Massive shout out to Nando and Sarah and Lauren and Dan and the rest of the Portal to the Paranormal team. Awesome guys, really professional. If you get a chance to book one of their events, go do it, they are very good. As to the activity, the, uh, the condemned cell, that was brilliant actually. Isolation, it was all right. Um, the weird thing in the debtor's cell where I was holding the chains, I felt really, really sway 
and then when I touched the walls, very weird sensation. Um, couldn't explain really what that was. Could be the fact it was dark, had my eyes closed, who knows. But all in all, very, very impressed with Derby Jail. Great hosts. We went across to the other jail at the other end of the street. That was a nice little tour. Really enjoyed that. So basically, it's just been a great night tonight. So thank you everybody who's involved, the guests, the team, the hosts. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe if you are new and if you are, hello. I go all over the place looking for ghosts. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.